aren't gonna like this one. Some of you really aren't gonna like this one. You're gonna not like it enough that you're gonna type a big long comment about how wrong it is. And that's okay. You're, I'm not here to squash your creativity. So when I shot the video about why we don't barbell back squat anymore, I mentioned in passing that we also don't, if you missed that one, I'll put a link somewhere. <laughs> uh, but I mentioned in passing that we also don't straight bar deadlift anymore. And so a couple of you are like, why don't you straight bar deadlift anymore? So here's the video explaining exactly why we don't straight bar deadlift anymore. And basically the problem with straight bar deadlifting comes down to two things. It comes down to the fact that we're using a straight bar and that we have knees that have to bend. Let me show you exactly what I mean. When you straight bar deadlift, because the bar is straight, as the name implies, um, you have to hold your forward torso angle until the bar clears your knees. So I have to stay in this position with my torso until the bar clears my knees and then I can drive my hips through. Same thing going back down. I have to sit back in my hips, hold this angle while I bend my knees until I get back to the floor. And it's holding that position that puts a lot more load on your back. And people will say, oh, well, I love, you know, I love the straight bar deadlift. It's such a good back exercise, but really it's not meant to be a back exercise. There are other ways that we can strengthen your back extensors if that's what we need to do other than straight bar deadlift. Straight bar deadlift, yes, it's a posterior chain exercise. So that's really everything from your calves, your hamstrings, your glutes, and your back extensors, yes. But primarily we're trying to work that sort of hip pattern, get your glutes working. So then the question is, is there a better way that we can still work that hinge pattern, get a good strengthening impact effect on the glutes without so much impact on our lower back? And I think the answer is yes. And here are a few ways we can do that. One of the absolute simplest ways for us to do that is to do a landmine deadlift instead. So with a landmine deadlift, I'm lining up so that my ankle bones are sort of even with the end of the bar. Um, I usually set up for a deadlift the same way. So I sit back in my hips, I reach forward with my arms, kind of think of making myself long in my spine. Then I'm dropping my hands to the end of the bar and squeezing my shoulder blades down and together a little bit, and then I'm driving forward with my hips. Now I'm sitting back with my hips, driving forward with my hips. So you can see a deadlift pattern is not the same as a squat pattern. And that's a great way to do it. A problem with doing uh, a landmine deadlift, and it doesn't matter if you don't have the little gizmo that the end of the bar goes in for a landmine, you don't need it. You're not pushing on the bar. It's not gonna scoot away from you if you're doing it properly. The problem is this, as you get stronger and add more and more plates, you're gonna get to a point where, you know, you just have a little bit at the end to hang on to and you can't physically get the grip there anymore. So it's gonna limit, limit how much you can lift. So that's where the trap bar or the hex bar comes in. You can see with this trap bar how I can just step right into the middle so I don't have to worry about the bar clearing my knees. And lining up again so that the, my ankle bones are kind of even with the pegs on the bar. I'll come into it the same way I always do, sitting back in my hips, getting long in my spine. Now I drop my hands to the middle of the handles. I squeeze my shoulder blades together a little bit and then straight up, my hips go back. My hips come forward, my hips drive back and I'm keeping a nice neutral back position as I do that. So that's one that I can really load up. I usually use the high handles. You can also flip the bar over and use the low handles. It means you have to get lower in your starting position. You have to get more hip flexion and a lot of us don't have that range in our hip joints so when we look at risk reward i almost always use the upper handles unless for a different athlete it's really specific to their position for a goalie i don't think it's specific at all to have to get you know down sort of this low into my starting position so we usually start up here 
As I'm shooting this video, we're dealing with the COVID, so we're all shut in. We don't have access to our gyms, a lot of us. So here's another great exercise. I use it all the time. We use it a lot in the off season, sort of in July, uh, when we're really building that stable strength. But it's a single leg dumbbell deadlift. And it doesn't have to be a dumbbell. You can, again, right now, get your backpack and put as much heavy stuff in it as you can and hold it right here. But remember, again, the deadlift pattern is different than a squat pattern. If, if you want me to make a video about, well, how is it different? Explain that, tell me more. <laughs> Let me know in the comments select section and I'll, I'll do that for you. But the key is we're gonna start with that hip hinge as we come down and up, maintaining your good knee alignment. So video yourself with your phone. Is your knee falling in? That's a faulty movement pattern. So we're gonna keep that good knee alignment, sit back in our hips, use our glutes as we drive out of that bottom position. So there you go. There's exactly why we don't straight bar deadlift anymore with a bit of the science behind it is that it puts a lot of torque on the lower back and we have to hold that in a sustained position. Whereas if we use one of the other alternatives, I've given you three alternatives that you can use that still strengthen your glutes. Uh, fantastic, work on your hip hinge, get your hamstrings involved, but just less stress on the low back. So you can try one of those. If you just love straight bar deadlift, your little closet power lifter in there, totally fine you can still use it uh but if your goal is to be the best goalie you can be and to sort of extend your career as long as possible then i think these give you some better options that you can use thanks so much for watching this video i know there's a lot going on right now and i know there's you know a lot of ways you could be spending uh your time right now so i appreciate that you spent some of it with me if you enjoyed the video why don't you hit the like button it'll make us both feel better and i will catch you next time Whew.